Okay, so here we are in ATC Pro, Atlanta, East Flow. I'm working the north side, uh, both the north final and the north approach. And I'm going to demonstrate some edits that I've made to the program, as well as some techniques that I use when working the north approach. Delta 1844, turn left heading 120, clear dialysis approach, runway 08 left, maintain 4000. Left 120, clear for the ILS runway 8 left, descending to 4000, Delta 1844. Delta 1844, Roger, maintain 200 knots until turning final. Maintain 200 until turning final, Delta 1844. So there's one of the edits that I've made. Um, I've been able to get them to read back that instruction, turning final, maintain a speed until turning final. That's not standard in the program. Um, but what I've done is basically just hacked one of the commands that already exists. So there is a command maintain speed to a fix. Um, so what I've basically done is I've found a fix that works that I don't use for anything else, and I've changed the name of that fix to turning final. Brickyard 4219, contact Atlanta Tower 119.1. So, if we look at that instruction I gave Delta 1844, uh, here it is. So, maintain 200 until Vinny is what the uh, program was spitting out, but I've gone in and changed the pronunciation of Vinny to turning final. So, they're reading back basically what they're actually doing, because you can give them a speed restriction and a speed assignment to a fix, but they won't follow that. Once they start turning final, they're going to start slowing down to their final approach speed. So in order to have the phraseology reflect what they're actually doing, I just issue a speed until they're turning final, and then when they're turning final, they'll start slowing down, and it matches what they read back, and we pretend that's the way that it's always done. Hopefully in the next update, they'll actually be able to hold a speed to the FAF, as they would in the real world. Delta 1844, contact Atlanta Tower, 119.1. <coughs> but even though they don't maintain a speed to the FAF, or once, even though they do start slowing down once they join final, they slow down pretty predictably, and you can usually count on them being about 160 knots uh, when they go by the FAF. So if you kind of plan for that, it works out pretty well, and it is it is very predictable. As long as you don't assign them a speed that's too crazy like either way too fast or way too slow prior to intercepting final. Uh, as, long as, you issue a, as long as you issue a reasonable speed, uh, you can expect that they will be at 160 knots past the FAF, which works out really well. AC 5030, descend and maintain 7000. Descending to 7000, AC 5030. So what I did to change that um, waypoint name, what I did to change Vinny into um, turning final, is here, Program Data Flag Mountain ATC Pro Facilities, go to A80, and we want Dynamic Fix. We have to edit two files, the first one will be Dynamic Fix, and then we find the fix that we want to change. So I've already done it, but um, Let's just change something else. Let's say we wanted to change the fixed AJ to something else. Find AJ. Spell it right, that usually helps. There it is, oh, it's right there, of course. Find AJ, change that to whatever you want. Um, I'm not going to bother changing it right now, but uh, change that to whatever word you want, um, or whatever phrase you want them to say. And then once that's done, save that and then go to the pronunciation file in the same in the uh, facility folder pronunciation then find it again so AJ should be near the top AJ and then change the pronunciation to whatever you want them to say um, so the pronunciation of AJ is there it's spelled out phonetically AAJ so we would change that to whatever that word is however we want them to pronounce that word 
AC5030, fly present heading, maintain 5000, speed 210. 275 on the heading, 5000, maintain 210, AC5030. So, if we want to just look at what we did with Vinny. So, dynamic fix. Uh, Vinny. Can't remember how to spell any of these. Oh no, it won't be in there because I changed it, right? Turning. So turning final. So that used to say Vinny right there. Then I changed that to turning final, and then I changed in the pronunciation. Vinny. So there's the fix Vinny, which is pronounced turning final. So those are the two files you have to edit if you want to do that. Delta 719, fly present heading, descend 5000. 275 on the heading, descending to 5000, Delta 719. Another thing is the, the aircraft have to be heading toward the fix in order to read back, maintain the speed until the fix. Um, so I think Vinny, it's one of the FAFs on one of the approaches that we never use. doesn't really matter, but, um, yeah, can't, don't remember which one it is, but they, the airplanes have to be heading towards it, so make sure it's not just some random waypoint way far out, make sure it's one that actually, uh, makes sense for where they are. AC5030, turn left, heading 180, descend 4000. 180 descending to 4000, AC5030. The reason I let AC5030 continue so long on the downwind is the safe point for this approach is this fix, um, that is 13 miles out. What is that one called? Jadge, or whatever, however you pronounce it. If you vector them to Jadge at 3,600, you'll have 2 miles of separation or 1,000 feet with aircraft on the center approach at all times when they intercept final. Because by the time that our aircraft reach Jadge at 3.6, any airplane on the center approach will be 4,600 or higher at all times until they're established on the until your aircraft is established on final. AC fifty thirty, turn left heading one two zero, cleared ILS approach, runways your right left, descend three thousand six hundred. One two zero ILS for <coughs> runway eight left descend and maintain three thousand six hundred AC fifty thirty. AC fifty thirty Roger, maintain two one zero knots until turning final. Maintain two one zero until turning final AC fifty thirty. The other reason why I choose the altitudes that I do, so I'm leaving Delta 719 up at 5000, because let's say something goes wrong with AC5030, let's say he messes up his intercept quite a bit, um, my escape route for him will be to turn him to the left, to turn him northbound, and hold him at 4000. So if I had Delta 719 or maybe a bunch of airplanes lined up at 4000, there'd be a conflict right away, and there's no escape for AC5030. But leaving Delta 719 up at 5000, I've got an escape route. I can cancel AC5030's approach clearance and turn them left and resequence them, and we'll have that thousand feet separation. Delta 719, turn left heading 180, descend 4000. Left to 180, down to 4000, Delta 719. Delta 1295, Atlanta approach, Roger, altimeter 29053, expect runway 08 left, descend via the dirty to arrival. Expect runway 8 left, descend via dirty to Delta 1295. Delta 719, turn left heading 120, clear dialysis approach, runway 08 left, descend 3600. 120 ILS for runway 8 left descend and maintain 3600 Delta 719. And there's the red cone of shame because I gave him his descent just a little tiny bit too early. Still technically uh, not past the vectoring line. And doesn't look like he's turning. Delta 719, turn left heading 120, clear dialysis approach runway 08 left, maintain 3600. Delta 719. 
Yankee is already clear for the approach. Clear for the ILS for eight left. We are already clear for the approach. All right, good luck there, buddy. Atlanta approach, Skywest 4683 at 14270, not the same. Skywest 4683, Atlanta approach, Roger. Altimeter 29053, expect runway 08 left. Expect 8 left, Skywest 4683. So there's just a bug. I don't know why Delta 719 didn't want to turn, but looks like he's turning in now. I find East Flow is definitely a lot more buggy than West Flow, at least at Atlanta. And now you'll notice with Skywest 4683, I didn't give him the descend via right away, because I want him to stay high and stay fast to see if we can get some spacing with the airplane coming in right behind him. Because they're at 5 miles spacing there. So if I start him descending, he's going to start slowing down. And I don't want that to happen, because then they're going to compress. Some other turbulence here, Delta 1295. What I can do now is accept Delta 1190 and give him the descend via, so he'll start descending and slowing down, and then after he's started to slow down, then I'll give Skyhouse 4683 his descent. Atlanta approach Delta 1190, level at 14,270, not the sight. Delta 1190, Atlanta approach, roger, altimeter 29053, expect runway 08 left, resume normal speed, descend via the 32 arrival. Expect runway 8 left speed is published at 532 Delta 1190. DC 5030, contact Atlanta Tower, 119.1. 119.1, Atlanta Tower, 119.1, good day, DC 5030. So now the thing is I just have to not forget that I haven't given Skyrus 4683 his descent. Which I'll do that here shortly. Skywest 4683, descend via the 32 arrival. Descend by 32, Skywest 4683. So in the default version of ATC Pro, um, if you want them to descend via the star, you have to say the runway transition as well, like in the same command. So by default, I should be saying Skywest 4683, descend via the 32 arrival, runway zero right left transition. But I've edited the uh, dynamic root files to avoid having to say that. Let's see if I can find my shortcut again. Nope. There we go. So I've edited the dynamic routes. So again, that's facilities, A80, and dynamic route. So these are all of the descend vias and climb vias. So what I've done is I've just deleted everything that I don't want. So whenever I'm playing the sim and I'm using the dirty two arrival, I'm only sending airplanes to runway 08 left. The dirty two arrival is also used for um, for runway two seven left during west flow, but I just I never play that sector, so I never encounter that need to give the dirty two arrival to two seven left. So I've just deleted all of that out. Delta seven nineteen contact Atlanta Tower one one nine point one. Atlanta Tower one nineteen point one Delta seven nineteen. Um. So actually, I might have left for two seven left. I think I did, but I still put um, thirty two arrival runway zero eight left transition. I put that one first. So I think how it works is once you give the aircraft a descend via, like if I was just going to say descend via thirty two arrival, the speech recognition or however the program works, it will search through this dynamic route file, and because if I don't specify the runway, it'll just default to the first one in there. So that seems to work pretty well, so I've just made that one first. And then I did actually leave 2.7 left in there, so I lied there. Um, that one is in there, but it's second. So all I have to say is to send by a dirty to arrival. It'll search the file, I believe. 
and then it finds the first one, and it's 0, 08 left, so it sends them to the right runway. Um, so for all the ones I've used, the Benelli one arrival as well. If I can find that one, these ones don't seem to be alphabetical. Maybe they are. I know you're in there. There it is. So the Benelli 1 arrival, again, whenever I work the sim, I only use the Benelli 1 arrival for runway 26, right? So I just deleted them all out there. All of them, except for the 26, right? So same thing, when I'm running Westflow and I'm using runway 26, right? All I have to say is descend via the Benelli 1 arrival. It's just one of those edits that, I don't know, just makes it easier to not have to repeat the runway twice. <coughs> Delta 2340, Atlanta approach, roger, altimeter 29053, expect runway 08 left, descend via the dirty 2 arrival. And he misheard me. Delta 2340, Atlanta approach, altimeter 29053, expect runway 08 left, descend via the dirty 2 arrival. Delta 2340, roger. Delta 1190, say speed. 230, Delta 1190. Roger. In this session, there's a bit of a wind. That's why there's that ground speed discrepancy between the two. And one other thing I do is I, I always break them off the star as they get past the airport in the downwind, like Delta 1295, once he passes the next line of my airspace, I'm just going to tell him to fly present heading. And the reason is because something very weird will happen if you leave the airplanes on the star. Um, there's some sort of code or some for some reason the program will do what it needs to do in order to keep five miles of spacing with aircraft on the star. So in other words, if two airplanes are on the star and there's less than five miles, the airplane behind will automatically slow down. And this is uncommanded and seemingly just kind of spooky, very spooky. Just does it all on its own. It's like it knows that it's five miles uh, in trail or less than another aircraft. Which, and that becomes a problem in the downwind when I give an aircraft a base turn because the spacing is going to be less than five it might go down to three or even less potentially depending on the wind the wind difference so normally if there's no aircraft in front the aircraft are going to be 210 knots in the downwind Delta 1295 fly present heading maintain 5000 275 descending to 5000 Delta 1295 but if for whatever reason um, we get less than five miles, the aircraft will slow down to less than 210 knots. So they're, they're self-separating on the star, which is not what I want to happen. Because um, you spend all this effort to keep the plane separated, and they're just going to do it themselves, which is no fun. So the way around that is if we cancel the star, they won't do that. And that's why I just make it consistent. All aircraft, I just fly present heading to send 5,000, and that way they'll compress as they would in the real world. Right, because I mean, in the real world, aircraft are not using TCAS to self-separate. Um, I imagine that each of these waypoints has got a speed associated with it. Uh, it's 2.30 at killer, 2.30 at gas, and then 2.10 at each of the ones after that. Atlanta approach, good afternoon, southwest 1093 at 14,000, last guy gave us 270. Southwest 1093, Atlanta approach, roger, altimeter 29053, expect runway 08 left. Expect 8 left, southwest 1093. So again, I'm going to leave him up high, and I'm not going to give him a descend by because I want him to keep his speed up. Delta 
Atlantis to approach good afternoon. Delta 2056 is with you. Level at 14,000. With information at DSI 270 knots. Delta 1295, turn left heading 180, descend 4,000. Left to 180, down to 4,000, Delta 1295. Sky was 4683, fly present, heading maintain 5,000, speed 210. <coughs> Continuing on 275, descend to maintain 5,000, maintain 210, Sky was 4683. Delta 2056, Atlanta approach, altimeter 2953, expect runway 08 left. Expect runway 8 left, Delta 2056. So maybe what I'll do here is I'll leave Delta 1190 on the star just so we can see it happening. Um, so let's just make sure his speed is good first. Delta 1190, say speed. 210 Delta 1190. Right, so that's normal. So if there's no other airplanes, they will maintain 210 all the way out. Delta 1295, turn left, heading 120, clear dial is approach runway 08 left, maintain 4000. Heading 120, cleared for the aisle, S3 left, descend and maintain 4000, Delta 1295. Delta 1295, Roger, maintain 210 knots until turning final. Maintain 210 until turning final Delta 1295. Southwest 1093, resume normal speed, descend via the Dirty 2 arrival. Normal speed, descend by Dirty 2 Southwest 1093. Southwest 4683, reduce speed, maintain 180 knots. Southwest 4683, reduce speed to 180 knots. Southwest 4683, reduce speed to 180 knots. Atlantic approach, good afternoon, Delta 1672 at 14,000, design 270 knots. Southwest 4683, maintain 180 knots. I don't know what's going on. It won't recognize that now. Oh, of course. S Skywest. Skywest 4683, reduce speed to 180 knots. Delta 1672 Atlanta approach, altimeter 2953, expect runway 08 left. Expect runway 8 left, Delta 1672. Delta 2056, resume normal speed, descend via the, war the Dirty 2 arrival. Back to normal speed, descend by Hummy 1, Delta 2056. Delta 2056, descend via the Dirty 2 arrival. Descend by 32 Delta 2056. Delta 1190, say speed. 175 Delta 1190. There we go. So he's slowed down all, somehow he's slowed down by himself to keep that five miles. And I swear, if there's no planes around, they will maintain 210. So they, there's something in there. They know that, they can sense that there's an airplane ahead. Sky was 4683, turn left heading 180, descend 4000. Left to 180, down to 4000, Sky West 4683. Delta 1672, resume normal speed, descend via the Dirty 2 arrival. Speed is published, descend by Dirty 2, Delta 1672. Delta 1190, fly present heading, maintain 5000, speed 200 knots. 275, descending to 5000, 200, Delta 1190. Delta 1295, contact Atlanta Tower, 119.1. Atlanta Tower, 119.1, Delta 1295. See now that now that he's on present heading, that spacing won't be automatically held at five miles. Skywest forty six eighty three, turn left heading one two zero, clear dialus approach runway zero right left, descend three thousand six hundred. Turn left heading one two zero ILS for runway left, descend to maintain three thousand six hundred Skywest forty six eighty three. So there's another reason why I keep um the downwind altitude and the base altitude separate. Because uh, once I turn with somebody base, they no longer have the tailwind. Delta 1190, turn left heading 180, descend 4000. And they can easily overtake the guy on the base. 180, descending to 4000, Delta 1190. So we want that 1000 feet worth of separation. And it's worth noting that the airplanes are going to self separate at any point on the star. Um, I just find it it's most noticeable on the downwind when one turns base. So, like here. Delta 1256 might slow down a bit to keep five miles, but it's eh, it's not too noticeable. It's m really just noticeable on the base to final or the base turn. <coughs> so.
Sky is 4683, maintain 190 knots until turning final. Maintain 190 until turning final, Sky West 4683. Delta 1190, turn left heading 120. Heading 120, Delta 1190. Delta 1256, say speed. 230, Delta 2056. See, normally they won't slow down to 230 until they're right at killer, but he's descended, or sorry, he slowed down a bit early. Delta 1190, heading 120, cleared ILS approach runway 08 left, descend 3600. Turn heading 120, ILS for 8 left down to 3600, Delta 1190. Delta 1190, roger. Maintain 180 knots until turning final. Maintain 180 until turning final, Delta 1190. Actually, that's going to be tight. Delta 1190, maintain 170 knots until turning final. Maintain 170 until turning final, Delta 1190. Delta 2340, fly present heading, maintain 5000. Continuing on 275, five thousand Delta 2340. Another thing I've done is there's another arrival that's kind of half used in the game for this gate. Uh, the evil one arrival. There, I'll just wait here until this guy checks Atlanta in. Atlanta approach, Delta 2492 is with you, level at 14,000, with information Yankee. Delta 2492, Atlanta approach, roger, altimeter 2953, expect runway 08 left, descend via the dirty two arrival. Expect runway 8 left, descend by 32, Delta 2492. So from this uh, this northeast gate, some planes will arrive on the evil one arrival, but when you try to give them the descent via clearance, they don't recognize it at all. I think that's just not properly set up in the in the game in the program. Uh, so I've just disabled that arrival altogether, so there's nobody coming from that uh, on that arrival because you have to get them vectors. Really, there's no option. There's no descend via that works. Skywest 4683, contact Atlanta Tower 119.1. One nineteen point one sky west forty six eighty three. Delta twenty three forty, turn left heading one eight zero, descend four thousand. Heading one eight zero, descend maintain four thousand, delta twenty three forty. I can turn delta twenty three forty in before the safe point, that thirteen or fourteen mile fix, because I think I can keep him ahead of this AC forty nine or twenty five on the center approach. Delta twenty three forty, maintain two two zero knots. Accelerating to two two zero delta twenty three forty. So anyways, to um, if you want to disable arrival, an arrival, it's actually really easy. Assuming you have SQ Lite, uh, just data planning, I think. Yeah, there we go. Planning uh, terminals. Find the arrival you want to uh, disable. Evil, and just change the procedure to zero. So originally the procedure is one. Uh, like that. Just change the procedure to zero. And then it's temporarily disabled until you change it back to one. I've done that too with the Colt 1 arrival, um, which is for west flow from the northwest. So the Benelli 1 arrival and the Colt 1 arrival. But because of that self separating thing, it was just a mess. The airplanes were just slowing down a bunch and slowing and just keeping themselves separated way too much with both of those arrivals, um, which really broke the realism. So if you just disable, I just disabled the Colt one, so they're only coming in on one arrival from each gate, and that works out fairly well. Delta 2340, turn left, heading 120, cleared ILS approach, runway 08 left, maintain 4000. <coughs> left to 120, cleared for the ILS for 8 left 4000, Delta 2340. 
Delta 2340, roger. Reduce speed to 200 knots. Maintain 200 knots until turning final. 200, maintain 200 until turning final. Delta 2340. Southwest 1093, fly present heading. Maintain 5000, speed to 10. Continuing on 275 down to 5000, maintain 210, Southwest 1093. Southwest 1093, roger. Delta 1190, contact Atlanta Tower, 119.1. Atlanta Tower on 119.1 Delta 1190. Delta 2056, fly present heading, maintain 5000, speed 210. Continuing on 275, 5000, maintain 210, Delta 2056. Atlanta to approach. Good afternoon. Delta 782 with you. Level at 14,000. Delta 782 Atlanta approach, Roger. Altimeter 29R53. Expect runway 08 left. Descend via the dirty to arrival. Expect runway 8 left. Descend by 32. Delta 782. So with the center approach fairly full, I mean, it's not back to back. There's a bunch coming in for the center, so I'm just going to send all my airplanes to the safe point. 13 mile final or whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. Southwest 1093, turn left heading 180, descend 4000. Turn left heading 180, descend and maintain 4000, Southwest 1093. This is where it would be nice to actually be able to assign an airplane a speed when it's on when it's already on final. You can see Delta 1190 is grounding 130, and Delta 2340 is still grounding 170. So there's definitely an overtake situation happening here. <coughs> but I think that'll be Tower's problem. Delta 2340, contact Atlanta Tower 119.1. 119.1. I don't know how that works, because there's no weight turbulent separation required, because they're both mediums. So I don't know. I don't know what separation we actually need once they're handed off to tower. Southwest 1093, turn left heading 120, cleared ILS approach, runway 08 left, descend 3600. Left to 120, cleared for the ILS for runway 8 left, descending to 3600, southwest 1093. Delta 16, uh, correction, Delta 1672, fly present heading, maintain 5000. 275 on heading, descending to 5000, Delta 1672. Southwest 1093, maintain 210 knots until turning final. Maintain 210 until turning final, Southwest 1093. Delta 2056, turn left heading 170. Turn left heading 170, Delta 2056. Southwest 1093, traffic 1 o'clock 2 miles, eastbound Boeing 757 at 5,500. Traffic in sight, Southwest 1093. Southwest 1093, roger. Delta 2056, descend 4,000. 4,000, Delta 2056. Delta 1672, maintain 190 knots. 190, zero, Delta 1672. Delta 2056, turn left heading 120, clear dialis approach, runway 08 left, descend 3600. 120, clear for the ILS for 8 left, descending to 3600, Delta 2056. Delta 2056, Roger, maintain 210 knots until turning final. Maintain 210 until turning final, Delta 2056. Delta 1672, turn left heading 180, descend 4000. 
Delta 2056, traffic 3 o'clock, 2 miles, eastbound, CRG 900 at 6200. Unable, beer IMC Delta 2056. Roger, that traffic is no factor. Delta 1672, turn left heading 120. Turn left heading 120, Delta 1672. Delta 1672, heading 120, cleared ILS approach, runway 08 left, descend 3600. Turn heading 120, cleared for the ILS for 8 left, descending to 3600, Delta 1672. Delta 1672, Roger, maintain 190 knots until turning final. Maintain one nine or zero until turning final belt sixteen seventy two. Southwest 1093, say speed. 170, Southwest 1093. So you can see, I mean, it's fairly close to 160 knots at the FAF for planning. Southwest 1093, contact Atlanta Tower, 119.1. And you can see there now he's slowed down even more. About Atlanta 10 knots. Tower on 119.1, good day, Southwest 1093. So right to about 160 knots at the FAF. It's almost like there's, there isn't, but it's almost like there would be like a published speed restriction at the FAF, like on the charts, 160 knots, and then we just have to give them a, uh, a speed until they join final, and then they slow down to the charted crossing restriction. I think that's it for now. It's pretty much all of the edits that I've made um, over the last couple of videos that I've demonstrated. So should be a new a new version coming out, hopefully shortly. New version of the program. But until then, with the edits, it's uh, really works well. All right, see you next time.